Welcome back to another video. Today we're at a program in Java that takes two numbers as input. We will print the first number and then we're going to keep adding 5 to it until the result is greater than or equal to the second number. And if the first number is bigger than the second, we're going to like display a warning to the user. We're going to stop adding 5 to the first number when the first number is greater than or equal to the second number. Here's an example. If the user enters 5, we're going to print 5 and keep adding 5 to it until it is either greater or equal to the second number, in this case 20. So we would go 5, 10, 15, 20. So let's actually code it up. We could do scanner scnr equals new scanner system dot in just to get user input. And then we could have a start variable. We could say int start equals the scanner dot not next line next int. So that's going to prompt the user to to enter an integer and store it inside a start. And then we could do int and equals scanner dot next int. Once again, we're going to ask the user for a number and then store it inside of end. And then we're going to check the first case. We're going to check if start is greater than end. That can't happen because remember, if the first number is bigger than the second number, we have to print like a, just like a error message. So we could print, um, say sysout print, uh, oop, not that. We could say sysout, just a shortcut to print system out and print in line. We could say second number can be bigger than first. Okay, there's that. That's the first case. But if that's not the case, we could say else. And then we want to keep printing it until something happens. So we could use a while loop to do that. We could say while. Get rid of that three. While start is less than or equal to end. Well, that's the case. We're going to do something inside the while loop. And, and then once start is greater or equal to end, we're going to get out of the while loop. So we could do sys out again, just a shortcut to print system out of print line. We can print start and then a space next to it so they're all not next together. We're going to print the first number. And then we're going to add 5 to start. So we could do start plus equals 5, or you could say start equals start plus 5. And then we're pretty much done. Let's run the program and see if it works or not. We could do run Java. And let's do like the example. Say they enter 5 and then 20. So it's going to do 5, 10, 15, 20. And the only thing, it's putting in a new line. So let's get rid of that new line. And let's run it again. Let's do 5 and then 20. So it prints it all next to each other. Let's do something cool. Let's do 5 and then 10,000. And then they'll do increments of 5 all the way up to 10,000. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, so if this video helped in any way, please leave a like and subscribe.